Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassie Viela and I'm a realtor, property manager and investor here in the San Antonio, Texas area. On my channel, we talk all things real estate and home maintenance related. So if that's your cup of tea, then uh, subscribe and stick around. So today we're going to do our second installment of our June market update. Uh, so we're going to start out with COVID updates. Very excited to report that the numbers are still dropping. Um, just even from earlier in June, it's we have has, half as many patients in ICU. Um, we have much fewer new cases. Uh, so very exciting news. I hope that this trend continues um, and we're back to normal soon, like everybody else. So showings per week, we're just exactly on track with where we were last year. Uh, we kind of have that start to summer where everybody's really looking May, June, and then it stays, you know, I'm not saying that there's a huge decline in activity, but over the summer, it tends to go down in then in towards fall. So we're just exactly following that trajectory and uh, rental showings, just the same. We had, um, you know, a peak at the beginning of June, and then it sort of falls off as people go on vacation and things like that. So home sales, home sales, um, that dip you see uh, on the on the 2021 line, so the red line, the dip you see is the first week of the month. So we, as, as I talk about often, you can kind of see on this chart that there tends to be a peak followed by a low point. And that is the last week of the month always has more closings. People are trying to get things closed by the end of the month. You know, title companies want to get things closed by the end of the month. Agents, sellers, everybody wants that. So um, you tend to see a, a peak on the last week. And then because everybody was sort of rushing to get that in before the, the end of the month, then the next week, the first week of the month is usually the lowest point. Um, and so you can see that just over and over again on this graph. And it happened this past month as well. So nothing to worry about there. The median price, you can see the substantial increase over this time last year. Um, we are approaching the $300,000 median price, uh, which just, again, I cannot stress enough how if you have lived in San Antonio for a while, 300,000 being the median home price just sounds unbelievable. I mean, for me, I, I think of 300,000 as a luxury home <laughs> just from living here. Um, and, you know, I'm anchored on the home prices when, you know, I started buying homes in San Antonio where, you know, your starter home was around 100,000 and luxury homes were 300,000. And so um, it, it's kind of blowing my mind. I know you guys from the West Coast are like, that's nothing. That's like a shock out here. But for us, that feels really high, um, especially since our median income is only $72,000 per family. Um, that $300,000 price seems astronomical. Uh, home sales, there was a dramatic increase in home sales over 2020. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out why that might be. I'm wondering if maybe COVID played a part in that because for homes to be closing in May of 2020, there would have had to been showings in March, April of 2020. So maybe we'll have to see if this trend continue, continues into June to see if that is a true increase or if that's maybe a leftover from COVID. Price increases, though, are, again, legit. We're nearing the $300,000 median home price. Um, we have a 23% median increase, 27% average increase. We've talked before about how I tend to lean on median as opposed to average because averages are skewed by million-dollar homes and such. Um, those can really skew the results. So the, I feel like the median is a better representation, um, but even with a median 23% increase. Days on market, this is the one that just really, I mean, blew me away. I could not believe <laughs> when I was putting this together, um, the days on market to be almost 50% lower than they were last year. And I'm just, I'm looking back to last year when we were thinking, oh my gosh, this market is insane. You just put a house on the market and it's gone. And we were 
just <laughs> how can this go on? Like this is a, the craziest market of San Antonio's history. Oh my gosh. And now we're selling houses closing in less than a month or just over a month. I'm sorry. Um, that just continues to blow my mind. Um, and I've, I have my source there at the bottom. So anybody can get this information on the circles. Um, it, if you go to the Sabre website, which stands for the San Antonio Board of Realtors, you go to their website, click on market statistics. Um, this is a free report that's available to everybody. And they pull that information from the Texas A&M Real Estate Center. Um, multifamily home sales, you know, we always get really weird numbers with this. I, I track it just, just in case, but you know, really, I mean, 126% increase, but we're talking about 19 and 43. So um, I think more importantly is the price increases. Um, but also with multifamily, these can be skewed by, you know, if, you, if in 2020, say it was 19 duplexes that sold, but in 2021, we have some fourplexes and triplexes thrown in, then naturally the price is going to be higher and they don't break it down per unit. So, um, you know, it's, I guess it's not really helpful information. Maybe I should just not even put it all together in the presentation, but um, the rental prices um, increasing 10%. So the the average rental price right now being $1,649. Um, with rental prices, the average is a little more accurate because there, there really aren't luxury rentals. I mean, there's a few, but not enough to throw off the entire MLS average. Um, so that is what, what we use here. Um, 1649 being the average rental price uh, is really, really unbelievable. And I feel like a year ago in May, I was saying, wow, 1508, that's such a high price for San Antonio. And um, now it's gone up $150, which is just, it's a lot. So that's been the market report. I'm sorry, I haven't, <laughs> I feel like I'm just a broken record at this point. Every two weeks I come here and tell you, the market got even hotter somehow. We thought it couldn't go up any higher and it has, um, but that's that's what's happening. So uh, if you have any other statistics that you think would be helpful, um, or if you have any other questions about the market that you'd like me to cover, then please comment down below, ask those questions. Um, I wanna present information that's helpful to people making decisions about San Antonio. Uh, so let me know what information you need. Um, again, if you like this video, it helps me out a lot if you hit the like button or subscribe and I will see you next time.